Hello, I'm Simon Kroom, and I'm the Programme Director for the Master of Science in Supply Chain Management and also the Executive Director of the Supply Chain Management Institute here at the University of San Diego. And I just want to spend a few minutes um, describing to you the, the key elements of the MS in, in supply chain. Well, first and foremost, um, our programme is the only programme that is currently recognised by the Institute for Supply Management here in the US with the only approved programme. And secondly, with the only program in the US that is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply. And I don't think it's uh, any uh, mistake that we're the only program that's been so recognized. The program's designed for people in your position, working professionals in a wide range of areas of supply chain management, whether it's operational, whether it's supply facing, whether it's demand facing, whether it's in design and coordination, finance, IT, very wide range of uh, students' uh, experience coming into the program. Secondly, it's a cohort-based program, which means you'll be studying alongside 19, 20 other people in a similar state in their, their career to you, a similar position in their career, who have the usual problems that we face at that stage, which is we're very busy, uh, we have a life, um, but we recognize that the opportunity to advance our career is one that we need to grasp with both hands. Firstly, the program is what we call blended, which means it consists of a small element of face-to-face -face residential um, component here at the University of San Diego campus. And that constitutes 22 days over the whole two years of the program, 11 days in year one and 11 days in year two. It's blended, which means that it's also online mediated. And the online mediation means that the class is always open. We try and chunk the classes so that if it's a three credit class, that runs for eight weeks, and that class is on 24 seven. We chunk the papers that you're required uh, to, to submit. We chunk the work that you're supposed to do. So it's a steady pace rather than massive peaks and troughs. So we think about your experience. Because it's a, it's a subject that's focused on supply chain management, we try and bring the workplace into the classroom. It's a very applied area. So if you're working in purchasing, you can bring some of the experiences, some of the challenges, some of the problems you're facing with your suppliers into the class discussion. We start the course with a four day uh, residence, which is an induction and an introduction to the program. And the first year um, is an 18 credit unit graduate certificate in supply chain management which is designed explicitly to uh, lay the foundation in terms of tools, techniques, and concepts in supply chain management. We introduce you to uh, the courses that you'll encounter in the first six months of the program, and you'll be undertaking the international negotiations class. So that sets you up to understand what the curriculum looks like for each subject, for each course, as well as understanding the total program. Once you uh, set out on your way, um, to study online, the first class you meet will be the supply management class. This is a class that's intended to give you a really strong introduction to two things. One, the whole field of supply chain management, and two, to understand what learning online uh, at a graduate level feels like. And the faculty, the administration, the staff are there to support you in, in that process. Because we, we know that it could be many years since you've last sat in a classroom, since you've last had to write a paper uh, for, for credit. Plus, we help you learn a lot more about the contemporary issues in supply chain management, because one of the beauties is the subject does not stand still. 10 years ago, e-business was the flavor of the day. Currently, I think sustainability is an important area. Risk and global risk issues are also contemporary issues that probably have changed very significantly uh, in the last decade or so. So after six months, um, students return back to the University of San Diego campus for the second residence of year one. This is very much intended to fuse the relationships that they've already established with members uh, who are studying in the same cohort to provide an opportunity for faculty to interact with students and really set the scene for the second half uh, of the first year where um, students undertake their own integrative project, which is an applied um, problem-based activity in their own workplace or in a workplace of their choosing or alternatively through a research thesis to look at a pressing issue that is 
of importance to them is of importance uh, to their sponsors that enables them to apply their learning from project management, supply management, operational processes, and the classes that uh, come along in the second year. From that residence, the second six months of year one is spent looking at logistics uh, and supply chain systems, which is really trying to understand that from a holistic point of view, what supply chains look like from the conception of an idea right through to when we've reached the end of life of a product or a service and we're thinking about reusing, recycling and so forth. And then the final class uh, in year one is strategic cost management. This takes the whole notion of a systems orientation that step further to get you to think long and hard and to analyze critically all of the building blocks of the total cost of ownership of a product, of a piece of capital equipment, of um, a facility, so that you understand the key cost drivers, because that's where the leverage op uh, opportunities arise. Across the whole of the first year, we embed what is obviously a critical skill and capability in, in any manager, but certainly in supply chain managers, which is that of negotiations. Negotiations both within one's own organization, as well as across um, the supply chain, nationally, internationally, uh, and through global negotiations. And at the end of the first year, we have a final residence, which leads to the award of the graduate certificate in supply chain management. From then, you have a well-deserved deserved break, not a long one, but at least one where you can recharge your batteries and come back uh, in fine fettle for year two, which leads on to the Master of Science in supply chain management. And there's a different orientation. There's a change of pace. And that change of pace is not in terms of the intensity of the work, but the orientation. So the first year lays the foundations in terms of tools and techniques. The second year is very much about reflecting on how you become an influencer, a leader, a change agent in your supply chains. So naturally, the first two classes that you encounter are the leadership and ethics class and the organizational change management class. You'll love those classes. They're, they're very much focused on how you as an individual can become an effective leader. It's not about you becoming somebody else. It's about you taking your capabilities and being what we would call a servant leader, somebody who's able to lead a team within your organization or across your supply chain to, to drive effective change. Third class in year two is world-class supplier development. This provides you with a combination of both tools and techniques and the influencing skills to enable you to take suppliers with potential to achieve that potential. Then back in for your uh, fifth residence on campus, where again we'll refresh around your project, um, we'll explore how your project is delivering benefits back to your organization, or if you're undertaking a thesis, how you're going to drive your research to successful uh, conclusion in the final six months of the program. One of our capstone uh, elements to the program is value network management and this is a course that's delivered in two segments um, in the second year. Value network management is very much about understanding the, the complex connectivities that take place between one organization and its constellation of suppliers, partners, collaborators, distributors and customers and, un and we try and understand how one makes a strategic impact through uh, exploiting and capitalizing on the capabilities in that value network. Then the final run into graduation is constituted by a number of shorter courses, which are pretty intensive, but they really broaden your set of skills, knowledge, and awareness in supply chain management. So we look at the global environment in global supply management. We think about the legal environment uh, in the law and ethics class. We understand a lot more about the financial environment through finance for supply chain managers. And finally, what I think is a very important uh, discipline, we understand how we need to market um, in supply chain management, not just marketing products to consumers, but how we market our ideas to those who need to buy into those ideas, internal marketing. Um, and the final residence, obviously, graduation, uh, considerable celebration. We have such fun. Uh, we, we have the graduation often in, in this theater um, where I'm being filmed today. Um, but we also go to a local restaurant and it, it's time to you know, unwind and, and celebrate the, the massive achievements of the two years that have changed your life. But you still have some work to do. You have to present 
your findings, your conclusion, your recommendation for your integrative project. And in the past, students have demonstrated that by diligent application of project management techniques, by incorporating the knowledge that they've learned on the program, they can deliver easily hundreds of thousands of dollars of benefit to the organization. In fact, many of our projects have um, validated savings of many millions of dollars to their organization. And for me, that's one of the, the, the great um, rewards of this program is seeing students at the end of the, the two years, at the end of the 36 credit unit, um, delivering projects which have really made an impact on their organization and has that wow factor, has their sponsor sitting back saying, wow, this education has been not only beneficial to the student, but beneficial to us uh, in support of that student's learning. But more importantly, you can demonstrate that you are worthy of the title of Master of Science in Supply Chain Management.